What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So let's break down some more Abby Steiner film. Uh, so in the previous video, we... I'm not sure which one's going to be out first, but let's just say that if this one is out second after this one, this could be the sixth episode instead of the fifth episode. We'll see. Uh, but Abby Steiner... Um... I did her 200 meter race from her junior year at 17 years old. Uh, that was in 2017. So we're back to 2016 this year and we're doing her individual event, uh, the 100 meter dash from this year, uh, from 2016. So this is the same year which, where, uh, for those of y'all that, that watched my uh, video where uh, Abby uh, had her relay race um, in 2016, this is the same year. So, and, and this one's crazy. Now, this one is the one where she falls at the line. And like I said, she was so wild in her first few years running track. Like, she started running, I think it was eighth grade or something like that. So, this would be like her third year running track. But she used to run so wild and reckless in a good way, in a good way. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, man, uh, here in this next film session. So, like I said, we're going to be doing 2016 right now. And you go, you guys are going to love this race. You guys are going to love this race. It was a close race as well. But uh, little Abby Steiner is something else. Little Abby Steiner is something else. This this six, this 16-year-old Abby Steiner is fun to watch, man. Very fun to watch. So, this is the 100 meters. And let's see if Abby gets under a 12 flat in this. So I played it with the audio to start the video. Uh, and then we're going to play it again right after I break it down. And then on that one, I'm going to leave it so that you can hear the crowd reaction to the score. And, that, and then I'm going to reveal the score right there. So a majority of you probably don't know where her score was in this race or time. So... I'm going to reveal her time through the through the audience reaction, but I'm going to break it down first with y'all, uh, and then we'll break it down again when we do the replay. So let's go through it right now. Let's go ahead and hit this play button. So Abby is in lane number four. Lucky number four. I mean, she always gets this uh, lane number four. <laughs> Mackenzie Long. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm on the wrong one. Yeah, no, no, no. She was on lane number four. Next to Mackenzie Long, who battled her in the 200. And her biggest uh, opposition will be Justice Richardson from Warren G. Hardy. So look out for that girl. She is in lane number three right next to Abby Steiner. So she's in three. Abby Steiner is in number four. Let's go. And her prelim, before we get to it, her prelim was 11.60. <laughs> Abby Steiner was on an 11.60 at, at 16 years old, man. Crazy. Crazy. Absolutely nuts. And that was a new record, by the way. That that was a new record at the time. That was a new record. The all-time um, holder is not Abby, though, um, in the one hundred meters. It's actually this, name, this girl named Kalia Carpenter. But let's get into this race. Enough of me talking. Let's see. So Abby, like I said, is in lane number four. So it's right in the middle. And you can see most of see like she because her reaction time she 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 gets most of her power here and then oh god she fell oh my god she wanted that she wanted that oh my god she wanted that she wanted that now what we're gonna do I'm gonna come back and we're gonna break this down again I'm gonna play the full clip. With the audio included again. And this will reveal the actual time that she got on this race. Remember, let's see if she got under a, tw a 12 flat. Do you think she got under a 12 flat in this race? Or do you think it was over a 12 flat? Let's see what she got.
when, oh my God, when they saw that score, bro, they were amazed. An 11.87, man. And, and shout out to Warren Richards, who's, you know, wherever you're at, 11.89. I don't know if she was a senior or not. I, like, I don't know what her age was, but that, that was impressive too. Getting 11.89 right next to Abby. I mean, this is the same girl that just ran an 11.60 in the prelims at 16 years old. And you and, and what I love about this race from Abby is how badly she wanted to dive at the end there. I mean, guys, I mean, I don't even know if she was bleeding here like Gina Luca Kipper was last week when she fell uh, here. But it just showed how much she wanted it, man. And that's the crazy thing about it. So let's go back and watch this, guys. And uh, hold on. Get this set up. Hit play. And so look at this. So out of the blocks, it's not a lot of burst out of the blocks. Like I said, reaction time is going to have to improve even as a pro. But look at this. Look at how she just keeps up with her. Look at how she does it. And she just drops to the ground, man. Like, dude, she wanted that. And I think one of the reasons, so this is in the 100 meters. And I think one of the things that Abby realized in this race was that the girl was so close to her. She knew she had to do something at the line. Like, she knew she had to do something at the line to break that. Like, that is amazing, man. I would have loved it if somebody had got her prelim when she ran at 11.60. Like, that's just insane. That That is just absolutely insane what you saw there. That is absolutely insane. That's how bad she wanted it. Abby does not want to freaking lose, man. Never wants to freaking lose, man. So look at the start from Abby. Look at the start from Abby. And here's what she seems to be gaining her speed. And it just, when I'm watching this, right, it just felt like Abby did not want to lose, bro. Like, it just, it gave me that feeling that Abby did not want to lose this race. Like, it's, it's like you, you kind of feel sometimes like she be toying with people, like, you know, and then she catches up, and it's like, then she realizes, okay, I got to go win the race, and then bye-bye, you know. <laughs> and uh, this is crazy, man. This is, this is nuts. Like, this is nuts. Like, this is nuts. Like, that that right there is definitely in my top five for Abby Runs. Just because I know she wanted it so much. And for those two girls to be, you know, their scores to be where they're at at 16-year-old. I, I don't know if both, like I said, I don't know if both of them was 16. Like, the girl, I don't know if the girl that she was battling was 16. We know Abby is 16 here, but we don't know if the other girl was a senior or something like that. Or she was the same age as Abby. But... That's just insane, right? That was an insane run right there. And I can tell that's what really pushed Abby, like, very much a, a lot right there. And that that was an insane. That's one of my favorites, man. Go on ahead and hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. Shout out to my boy David Close. Big shout out to him, David Close, because he, he's actually giving the channel two donations, two $10 donations. He gave out another one last week. I didn't see it until this week, but he gave out another $10 donation. So he's up to 20 bucks. He is the leading donator on this channel. I'm going to start something new where um, we're going to have a list of the top donators on the channel. So that's what you're going to see on the screen here. And also, if you want, to uh, send money to the cash app if it's easy for you to send money to the cash app instead of through the super thanks button below uh, you can send it there dollar sign sack exchange definitely appreciate the donations guys they, they definitely mean a lot i'm trying to get a new mic so it definitely means a lot so guys uh we're going to do something a little bit different in this episode i'm going to give you guys a little preview of a series that going to be covering next so a little spinoff right um so 
you guys might not be aware because one of the things that was very interesting about Abby Steiner this year, she blew up this year, right? But a lot of us had knew Abby Steiner back in high school, back in her high school days. Some of you guys knew her back in college. Uh, like, there's different degrees of track fans. There's a lot of track fans who are, who are real, like, big college track fans. You know what I mean? So they probably follow, especially, like, SEC stuff, you know, because SEC is a big conference, right? Then there's a lot of people who just follow the pros, and that's most people. That's most of the track and field community is mostly the pros, right? But then there's a, a small group who know those high school prodigies, right? And I wish a lot of people knew who Abby Steiner was when she was a teenager, when she was back in high school. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure you guys don't miss out on the next opportunity for the next Abby Steiner. Because we got two of them. Not one, two of them. And I wanted to put them inside of this video so that you guys are aware of them. Because we're going to do a whole separate video, break it down. This 100 meter dash and 200 meter dash from a girl named Aria Pierce from Kansas and another girl named Brooke Lyons from Washington, Washington State. They are two American white girls who are on the way. And this is why I keep saying this, bro. This is what I keep I be telling these pro blacks in my comment section. I be like, look, man, I be telling them like white girls are on the way. We're still doing that video, by the way. We're still doing that video, by the way. But uh, here's the thing. I want to, I want to, because I'm going to do it in parts. So I'm going to cover like certain white athletes and just do it in parts, right? So it's going to take me some time to actually get those videos together. So I'm going to take my time putting those up, but they will be up. And for this reason, Look at who we got on the way. I just talked with a couple of individuals. I'm like, man, what white girls are coming? What white girls are coming, man? What white girls are coming? Well, I'm about to show you two of them right now. And both of them ran in the 100 and the 200, just like Abby did. Except they're younger than Abby. Now, Aria Pierce is the main one of the two. Aria Pierce is 13 years old. She's just going into eighth grade. This is seventh grade right here. And what's amazing about Abby, I mean, Aria Pierce right here is that she actually, I think she's ahead of Abby in a lot of areas. Remember, remember, Abby didn't start track until eighth grade, like I said earlier in the video. So this girl has already been running track and she's more focused in on track. That's why I said this kid will probably end up, I have to guesstimate, she might end up being better than Abby, depending on like how injuries go and stuff like that. But this girl also Brooke Lyons? <laughs> wow. I mean, we got two of them on the way. Not one, two on the way, bro. But but I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cover the 200 meter run in a different Abby Steiner video. Probably the next time I cover one of her 200 meter rate. But in this one, I will want to give you guys a quick preview of what the hell I'm talking about. So we're going to go over their little run. Now, I'm doing a whole video on this, by the way. I'm doing a whole series on these two. And we're going to break them down in a bigger video. I just wanted to give you a quick preview here of how it looks, right? So y'all see Arya Pierce right here. Hold on, let, let me let you guys see uh, Brooke Lyons. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, guys. I want to get you guys to see Brooke Lyons. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Let's see what Brooke Lyons is. Anyway, this is the 100-meter dash. So this right here, hit play. Wait, hold on. Hit play. This is Brooke Lyons. Okay, this is Brooke Lyons. And then we're going to get, I'm going to fast forward this bit to, I'll just let it play. I'll just let it play. And so here goes Brook Lyons. All right, this is Brook Lyons right here. This is going to be very interesting, guys. We got two Caucasians coming up in the game, but white girls ain't coming. They ain't, they're, they're not coming, supposedly they're not coming, according to some people. So, uh, 
Y'all know what lanes they're in. Y'all can see it on the screen. Brooke Lyons is in lane number six. Aria Pierce is in lane number eight. So just pay attention to those two. They're going to blow you away. This is the 100 meters, by the way. It's not 200 meters. This is 100 meters, just like we saw with Abby earlier. I'm just letting it play right now so that I know exactly where it is when I get ready to edit the video. Um, but here we go. So you see it. You see them on your screen. They're towards the left side of your screen. Towards the left side of your screen. Lane six and eight. Here we go. Aria Pierce in lane number six. No, Brooke Lines in lane number six and Aria in lane number eight. So you see them? You see them? Look at this. Look at Aria Pierce. Look at Brooke Lines. Shit. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> holy moly, holy smokes. Bro, we got this kind of talent coming out of... Bro, they not even in high school yet. <laughs> bro, 11.79 from a 13-year-old. 11.79 from a 13-year-old, bro. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you really kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you really kidding me right now, man? <laughs> that is crazy. That that is is that is wild, bro. That is, that is actually pretty wild. That's like unheard of, bro. That's unheard of. And then with Brooke Lyons, she's actually won an 11.84 before. She's actually won an 11.84 before. That's her personal best. Uh, in the 200, she's won a 24.55. And in the 400 meters, she's won a 56.80. So keep your eye on Aria Pierce and Brooke Lyons. And stay tuned for that series. All you got to do, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to make those videos probably in the next few days. I'm going to talk about them. They're going to be in the same video because it's the same race. But trust me, on this channel, y'all going to know who Arya Pierce and Brooke Lyons is before they before they get into college. And I think they'll have a, because Abby was 22 right now, they'll have a real chance of actually racing against Abby in like 10 years. They'll have a real chance to race against Abby. And Abby will still be in her prime by then. It is going to be magical, bro. And they'll be teammates too. They'll be teammates of Abby's, too. That's going to be insane, man. We're going to talk about them a little bit more later, man. I just want y'all to see that special stuff. Salute to Indian Sports Media. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, Indian just uh, surpassed the 1,000 subscribers, so congratulations to him. Support him over there. He's got a great channel. He's doing like what I'm doing with the European athletes, giving them some more uh, exposure. And he broke down the Abby Steiner and Gina Lukenkemper uh, video, which is the best breakdown I've seen anybody do on YouTube when comparing two athletes. Like, it is the best. I I'm sorry to everybody else who made a video like that, but none of them top what Indian Sports Media did. I'm, trust me. Now, I've watched that video twice already because of how good it was. Go over there, subscribe to that channel. Uh, definitely we'll leave a link in the description box, but definitely go check out that channel and subscribe, y'all. Uh, to finish this up, Abby Steiner just is amazing. She is an amazing specimen. And what you're seeing from her at 16 and 17 years old in these in these last two film videos I did, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, it's absolutely nuts what she's doing at her age. Like... Back then, like the, the 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 high school prodigy legend was growing in front of our eyes. You know what I'm saying? Just sitting up there, growing in front of our eyes to another level of peakness. Like that is absolutely insane. Where Abby Steiner was at way back then in high school. Like I, I, I just words cannot express how I feel about what she did. And there's a great video, by the way, from Indian Sports Media that y'all need to go check out. Uh, he's comparing Gina Lu Luke and Kemper to Abby Steiner. 
Definitely want to see that race between those two. Indian Sports Media just crossed a thousand subscribers, by the way. Please, please go subscribe to this channel, man. Go check that video out as well. It's the best breakdown I've seen on YouTube so far when comparing two different athletes. I'm sorry to everybody else on YouTube, but I've seen no better one than this one. This is the best breakdown I've seen between two different uh, class of athletes. And you just don't see a lot of other people breaking down the European. Uh, it's always just the Jamaicans and the Americans. I'm like... Can we get somebody out there to do the Europeans? And that's what Indian sports media is doing. He's breaking down these Europeans. Go check that channel out as well, man. Amazing stuff there. But I definitely want to salute all the guys. Like we said, we're going to do the relay next. And then we're going to do... And then I think I'm going to try to find the first college one from her college days. We're going to try to see which one we're going to break down there. Thank you guys for watching. After news delight.